In the other video recorded for this lesson, uh, I spent most of my time working on the FOIL method and just sort of introduced the vertical multiplication method, um, primarily because we were dealing mostly with binomials there. Uh, I would like to do another example here of the vertical multiplication method because what I want to do is do an example where we have a binomial times a trinomial. So that's what we're going to do uh, with this particular example. We have 3b squared plus 5b and it's multiplied by 5a cubed minus 2a squared plus 3a. So we're going to do this again just as if it were a multiple digit uh, multiplication problem from elementary school. We have 3a times 5b first. So we have 3 times 5 is 15 and a times b is ab. So we're going to have a positive 15 ab. And then we have that same 3a and we're going to multiply it by 3b squared. So now we have 3 times 3 is 9 and a times b squared is ab squared. So we have 9ab squared. Now we're done with this sort of digit here, this term, and we're going to move down to the next one. So we go down one line and we skip a space, and we do negative 2a squared times 5b. You know what, let's change colors on different lines here, get this a little cleaner. Negative 2a squared times 5b. Negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. And a squared times b is just a squared b. Then we have negative 2a squared times 3b squared. So we have negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. And a squared times b squared is just a squared b squared. So now we're going to go down one more line. Pick another color here. Let's try this one. Go down one more line and we'll skip two spaces. And we have 5a cubed times 5b, so that gives us 25a cubed b, and then 5a cubed times 3b squared is 15a cubed b squared. So now we just multiply, or we just add everything straight down. Draw our line here. Let's do one more color. Let's try this one. We have 15ab. It just goes straight down and then that's a positive. And then we have 9ab squared minus 10a squared b. Those are not the same thing because here the a term is to a first power and here it's to a second power and vice versa for the b's. So we're just going to have 9ab squared minus 10a squared b. So those two are done. Now we're going to do the next two here. We have a squared b squared and a cubed b. So those aren't going to combine either. So we're just going to have negative 6a squared b squared. The 9ab was positive there. And then the 25a cubed b, that's positive. 25a cubed b. And then finally we have just our 15a cubed b squared. And it's 15a cubed b squared. So you can really see in many cases you're not going to have much that combines. That's really our issue here. We have one that's first power for both of them, and then one that's just second power for the a and not the b. None of the others are like that. And then we have one where it's just the second power for the b and not the a. None of the others are like that. So none of these combine. Our polynomial is really long by the time we get to the end, but we really didn't have to do anything uh, particularly difficult. We just did monomial times bon uh, monomial. We just did it all the way through over and over again. And this format helps us keep it straight so that we don't get lost about which ones we've multiplied and which ones we haven't.